Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I have this giant pile of yarn behind me as you can see. Um, it is sat inside a really big box <clears throat> which you might not be able to see. Um, I've been working on trying to get this camera placement right, it's just, just not happening. So <clears throat> I thought you might find it interesting to watch me go through said yarn box because I know there's stuff in there that I need to clear out and die and or organize. So here we go, time lapse time. The long tail is Molly, and the crazy one is B. <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Come on. He's gonna run right there, and she's gonna sit down and wait to play. Yep, there she goes. Molly's gonna do a couple of laps. I haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Can I have it? Can I? Can I have the bowl that you want me to throw for you? Can I? Can I? Can I? Nope, I can't have it. Ready? Does somebody want belly rubs? I think she does. I think she wants some belly rubs. <gasps> Chaos! Summer, spring and summer. This is full of water. It's not full now though, Beep. You think you're laying in a creek and there's nothing here. It's just grass. You sprinted all the way across the field to lay in an empty ravine. Yes. Yes, you are very cute. What's Molly doing? Hey. <coughs> oh. 
I have it. Oh, you're going to drop it into the ravine. Fabulous. Thank you very much. That's very thoughtful of you. Um, excuse you. Can I, can I have it? You can't just lay it down and then snatch it back. That's mean. Can I have it? Can I have it? Give me the ball! Oh, what have we found? Is this the rare English hippo we've discovered? What are you doing? Your whole face is under the water. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I think she does try to sniff under the water. She's uh, she's not the brightest of dogs. <laughs> I'm glad that she put it there for you. Look, look at what she is. <laughs> She's gonna take ages to dry off. It's brave of you to walk through the middle. I'm gonna go around the side like a sensible person. No. <laughs> what? All right, so it's evening now. It's about 7 p.m. And I'm still at my desk. <laughs> I legit just had to clear off the table already even though i only just put up the tree like what yesterday the day before because it, um we were packing orders earlier and that's kind of the only surface we've got for packing orders obviously we can't do it in the kitchen and that's that's it for the flat surfaces <laughs> um so <clears throat> so uh and also i i think i have a curse um my curse is that i can never find i have three camera batteries. I have three camera batteries that fit my big DSLR. I can only ever find one of them at a time. Now, mind you, I bought the other two because of this problem. I bought the other two because I had issues uh, with making sure that the other one would, would have enough charge if I wanted to do filming for uh, some sort of specific thing that I knew was going to take longer than, you know, 30 minutes or so. I bought the two extras and I can't find the two spare batteries or, or their charger. And the one that's in there is dead from filming this morning. So, you know when you get so frustrated <laughs> that you can't find something and it just like builds up in your head and you're getting more and more frustrated until the part where you try to like take the hair tie out of your hair and the hair tie gets stuck and the more the hair tie gets stuck, you just want to just like rip all of your hair out because you can't find the battery. <clears throat> I'm sure that's totally a common occurrence. So I'm filming with the, you know, the webcam that we use for streaming, which is you probably notice I've recorded a few of the podcasts with as well, but I wanted to use the other camera because I don't know reasons. It doesn't matter. My point is, um, so I went out last night. I went to my, um, my stitch and bitch, um, Christmas group and it was fabulous. And there was fabulous people there, of course. And we did secret Santa and here's what I got. It is a Grinch project bag, and it's freaking reversible. That's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch on the inside. Also, you can tell my hands look gross. I've uh, plunged my hands multiple times into some dark dye water today without thinking. So I'm looking a little zombie. Anyway, it's a super cool bag. It's reversible. It's kind of, it almost feels like it's padded. I don't think it is actually. I don't know enough about sewing. Snowing? I don't know enough about sewing. <laughs> so... I, because I took this last night, took this project bag, which has my, my northeasterly strip in it, and I was thinking as I was leaving, I was thinking, oh, I, um, should find a, a, a non-Halloween themed project bag, but I was running super late because this week has just been absolutely just wildly busy, so, so I just grabbed the first thing and, um, so on and so forth. So I am going to do, I'm going to sort of finish up my evening. Oh, look, there's a stitch I dropped. I can just see it just waiting 
to ladder on down. It's nice thing working with chunky yarn, I guess. Uh, so this evening I'm going to do a little bit of uh, knitting to close out my, well it's not going to really close out my day. I'm going to do a little bit of knitting. I'm going to try and finish this ball of yarn. It's chunky, there's not loads left, but I'm not a very fast knitter, so I'm going to knit for uh, half an hour and see how far I get. We'll see. Right, so in an odd twist of events, I basically finished exactly a half an hour after I said I was going to. I only have this small little tail of yarn left, which I'm going to use to seam it to the strip next to it. And this is 100 grams of the same color. So that means that tonight I can sit on the couch and I can wind the next skein. Uh, also, I was going to give you some more of a, of a close-up of me knitting, but after examining my zombie hands, I figured maybe nobody would appreciate that. However, I did switch out my Knit Pro trends, which I used uh, when I was going to Barcelona and back, because they are pink and see-through and non-threatening. To these prim needles, they are... Um, come on. These prim needles, uh, I bought them when I was in Italy, like back in May, and I forgot about them. Uh, they, I feel like, oh, this is prim and knit pro. I was about to say they do kind of seem like knit pro, so I guess it's a collaboration effort. I do really like wood needles. I also have um, knit pro zings, which I was also using for this blanket. Um, but I really wanted to try these because I forgot I had them, and then I found them the other day. Uh, so I really like them. They definitely slide around better than the... Um, and the plastic needles. So I think that's going to conclude this evening. I am going to stop recording and I'm going to quickly slap all this together and get it uploaded for you. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do tomorrow, but tomorrow on December, what day is it? <laughs> tomorrow on December 7th, we will be doing our live stream, um, our, our usual Saturday night live stream. We're finishing up a game, and then after we finish up that game, we're going to play some other fun games and maybe do some kind of announcement-y stuff. So do pop along if you're looking for kind of a virtual, you know, stitch and bitch, knit and natter. And thank you for watching the Gamer Crafting Vlogmas. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back here tomorrow. Oh, dropped another stitch. Yikes.